So let's go ahead and continue here. So I'm going to show all. I'm going to do that by going up to display, show all. And I'm going to go ahead and put, start kind of cleaning up the, the file a bit and see what we have in these groups. So I'm going to grab this out of this group and I'm going to hold middle mouse button, drag it off that group. And I'm going to delete the remainder. So we're going to go up to file, optimize scene size and hit OK. This is going to get rid of any unused materials, uh, open layers, things like that transform nodes, everything that is not being used. Um, so we're going to grab this guy and put it in a layer. We're going to call that top mesh LP. And then we're going to grab this guy and put it in a layer. We'll call it interstitial, interstitial interstitch layer and then we have the set a the low poly there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, well we're gonna duplicate this first I'm gonna control D make sure that we have it there and we're gonna our tra since our transforms are frozen we know this is gonna be its origin we're gonna center the pivot modify center pivot I would recommend hotkeying that as well and just move it out to the side any number of units you'd like and we can always come back to it later you can put in another layer called backups so okay and so what I'm going to do first before I go ahead and boolean out this underside with the, the interstitial layer I'm gonna fix a couple of the things that we changed so you notice that we in the earlier video we removed this edge that was flowing along here and that was that was in relation to this guy right here so we're going to go ahead and delete that one as well and i'm going to go up to edit mesh detach the window and delete edge vertex and show all so we could either there's a couple things we can do here we can clean this up first this top layer that with this interstitial layer, sorry, on the top part to make it now fit more with this, or we can uh, boolean out the bottom side. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, go up to Window, Rendering Editors, Hypershade, and you're going to get this pop up window. And we're just going to assign a couple of different uh, blends and lamberts to help visualize the scene a bit better so we can start seeing through things not having to always go to the x-ray and see through everything. So I'm going to grab a Lambert and two blends. So the first Lambert I'm going to assign to the top layer and I'm just going to click and drag it, middle mouse button, drag and then let it go on the geometry. I'm going to double click Lambert 2 and I'm going to just t take the transparency down a bit. Great. And now we're going to grab the, the blend. I'm going to have one blend. I'm just going to make it red so it really stands out. And then the other blend, I'm just going to leave it, actually leave it as a gray. And so we're going to throw the, the, blend, the red blend on the interstitial part and then throw the gray blend on the lower layer. Great. So this is going to allow us to start visualizing this a little bit better uh, without having to constantly be switching between x-ray and the other modes as well. So we can see a couple of things changed. Obviously since we changed the geometry of this top part, the interstitial area no longer fits in. So what we need to do is basically fix that. And so I'm going to make the same changes on this one that I made on the top one, uh, just pretty loosely. And I mean I remember it was these, this top edge we got rid of, so I'm going to double click that. And we're going to go down to delete edge vertex. Then we got rid of this big one here. So I'm going to go down to delete edge vertex. Now we can see it's already pretty much fitting where it needs to. We did the same thing here. Delete edge vertex. Because most of the changes that we made were actually to this top layer. And it was all the connections, which we don't need to really worry about that right now. And so you can see that this red one 
is uh, it looks pretty pretty low res. If once again, if we do page up for PC or function up for Mac, then you can start to change the uh, the smooth mesh preview display. Okay, and then one other thing that we did, if we want to shut off this top layer for a second, hit one to go back. We were in our vertex mode and I grabbed both of those vertices and I went to my move tool and I moved it up along the normal. So actually before I do that I'll make sure that let me template these so we can at least see where that top layer ends. And I'm just going to pull them up a bit. And that's fine. That's perfect. So now that we have, let me set this back to world. Now that we have that top part done, I'm going to go go up to my uh, shading in the menu bar. And if we go to use default shading, it's going to override all the uh, all the material shaders. And we can just visualize everything in a default shader. So we can do that if we want to get rid of the transparency, but don't want to be going back and forth with changing materials, etc. So now what we're going to do, we don't need to worry about that for now in the top. So we're going to Boolean this out of the, the underside here. And before I do that, we made a copy of this one, the interstitial one over here. And since we edited and modified it, we, we can get rid of that one and just duplicate this one over. I'm going to delete its history first, delete by type, history, make sure that the pivot is centered, and just control D, move them over. And that's going to now be queued with the same layer. So if we want, we can select that and go to this interstitial layer, hold right click, and check remove selected objects. Now when we turn that off, this is now no longer in that layer, and we can just assign it back to the BK right click add selected objects great so save the file so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom layer that we have here and we're going to boolean that out of this one as well but before I do that I'm going to duplicate this but I'm going to use a duplicate face because once we do that then we're going to lose this this completely like we did last time. So all I want to do is just make sure that uh, we have the geometry in place. And I'm going to do that by uh, going over to Edit Mesh and down to Duplicate Face. And I'm going to pull it out along the blue, which is the normal. And you can pull it out enough so that the inner, inner layer still has a bit of clearance or you can use your local translate C and specify exact units. Great. But since this is really more of a concept massing, it's okay to kind of freestyle it a bit and because we're gonna use this eventually to make a better working model. So now that we have this one, you can see here it's in, in the same layer, in the same group. We can select both of these and go over to mesh, boolean, union. And now we can see here, if we Alt H, we can see now what's happened with Boolean. And we have a little bit of cleaning up to do. Because as I mentioned before, the Boolean sometimes gets a bit unpredictable with, uh, well not unpredictable, with the edges, how they line up when they are about to get Booleaned. Then you end up with vertices that are floating around and edges and a, and a whole bunch of n-gons, which we really don't like. So. We're just going to spend a couple of minutes cleaning this up in the next session.